Hello, my name is Subhakrish Balakumar. I'm a grade 9 student at Aldershaw High School, and today I'm going to be talking about the shoots and hoops, a basketball trash can. Before I start, I'd just like to say that all the judges and people involved working at BASEF are doing great in these tough times. Now let's get started. Firstly, the problem statement. What is the problem I desire to solve? Before I say that, look at the trash over here. What is this? This is litter. Littering is a major problem in society due to the current rise in climate change and global warming, which have had devastating impacts on humans and other animals in the environment. Some impacts of littering include acid rain, waterborne diseases, microplastics in food, tourist reduction, and expensive waste management. This is why the problem I strive to solve is to reduce the impact of littering. Next, purpose. So what is the purpose of the basketball trash can? Before I say that, I should tell you how the basketball trash can functions. As you can see here, when you throw a trash, it gets detected by the sensor. The sensor sends that to the LCD, and the LCD displays the number of trash. So every time you score, you score a point on the display. This helps users, or people who usually litter, feel more motivated to throw out their trash rather than litter on the floor. That is the purpose, to make throwing out trash more fun. Hypothesis. Before building this, I hypothesized that the basketball trash can will be able to store trash, detect trash collected through a sensor, and state the number of trash on a LCD display. Background research. Some of the major points I took from my background research includes only 9% of 6.3 billion tons of plastic have been properly recycled. Single-use uh, single food packaging litter has doubled on the Canadian shorelines recently. Some causes of littering are laziness, presence of litter in the area, construction projects, and peer pressure. And many common household Products that are littered in the water, which can cause water pollution, can take thousands of years to break down. Now, I'm going to talk about the procedure of building the chutes and hoops. Firstly, as you can see here, we built the cardboard supports. Then what I did is I cut up a Cheerios box and I made it so that it would be like a can and attached it using tape and hot glue. After... I took an old circuit that I had from an Arduino um, handbook and I changed it a bit to make wires that would extend. The circuit functioned as an ultrasonic sensor counter that would count how many times something is passed by the sensor and it would display it on an LCD. Then I put in the code, remixed it a bit so it fit the purposes of the shoots and hoops, and I attached it all together, adding little details at the end, like marker and pipe cleaner. Summary results. To test the summary results, I used two different types of trash items, paper balls and sock balls. Most of the sock balls were detected as they were of medium size and were easily seen through the line of sight by the sensor. In, in contrast, some paper balls weren't detected and this was due to the varying size of paper balls as it was harder to make a one consistent size. Smaller paper balls were harder to detect by the sensor as they could easily fit in through the gaps which were sometimes outside of the sensor's reach. Another factor that um, was noticed in the test summary was about where you hit it on the backboard. Hitting here with your trash can, with your trash item, sorry, would usually provide the most maximum success in being detected by the sensor. While hitting towards this right mount was a blind, this right side was a blind spot and usually wasn't detected by the sensor. Potential improvements. Some improvements I think I could have made include a more accurate sensors with better placement, a data collection system that notices what trash you put in and ends up using that data for other better reasons, such as sending it to governments, to people who litter, or like even citizens themselves in general. 
a sorting system integrated within the trash can to sort recyclable and non-recyclable items, adding a solar panel and a speaker. Solar panel so it can power the gadgets and a speaker to play a sound every time you score. Key learnings. Some of the key learnings include how the, some of the key learnings I learned from this project include how an Arduino works, the functions of an LCD and an ultrasonic display, learning about a tutorial before rushing into it, littering is a troublesome issue, and more about the design thinking process, including prototyping, casual modeling, and reviewing how your prototype worked and getting for feedback. Now I'm going to do a test demo of how this works. Firstly, I'm going to turn this on. So as you can see, it says the environment. Now I'm going to try and take a shot and let's see whether it detects or not. As you can see, it's just shown one. Now let's take another two shots. Two. And then let's go for the final shot. As you can see, this time it didn't detect as they hit near the blind spot of the edge of the center. So that is, as I said before, something to improve. Nevertheless, two out of three shots is a great score. Thank you for listening to our project, and hopefully I'll be able to improve the shoots and hoops as a working product in the future to help promote sustainability for our planet. Thank you.